Hello everyone, I am um, really excited to have uh, with me Mr. R. Gopal Krishnan, um, the CEO of uh, Mindworks and uh, ex-director of Tata Sons. Uh, great to have you here sir. And uh, today's uh, interview will be on uh, digital and digital disruption, uh, more right. future focused. Describe your idea of the future of work, let's say in 2030, 2040 time frame. How will uh, the lay of the land look? I don't know, I find it very difficult to, to, to describe it. If you had asked me 40 years ago what will be the future of work now, I doubt if I would have had a sensible answer. But the one thing I worry about, because I don't know the future, or because I'm forecasting something, is the importance of work gets done because there's a software of relationship. Everything cannot be done by hardware. And uh, in the ultimate, when people get carried away with IoT, AI, robotics and other such uh, words which are now becoming jargon, um, it almost gives the impression, and if you read singularity, yes. the other big word, then you don't need human beings anymore. Yes. Now, my own view is that work will not change to that extent. You know, I've even read it as, in, as distinguished in a magazine as The Economist. Uh, not a forecast, but an imaginary view of how 2080 might be. Yeah. That I am single, I want to have a son. I go to the internet, I find some donor, I find some egg, I find some... But, and one day... Uh, Amazon delivers it to you. DHL come <laughs> and deliver to me a blue-eyed baby with right. an organ. You know, I think we're always having people who imagine. And the... Uh, what looks impossible, so long as you say it looks implausible, yeah. but not impossible, yeah. I think you are you're, you're about right. Okay. And I think that is, the, that is the only thing I can say about work, that there will be a tendency to more and more classify work as being digitally driven with ignoring the human aspect. Yeah. There's already evidence of that. Yes. That would be to the detriment of work. No. Because the human being is a social animal. Yeah. And he can't run his life with uh, digital devices. Right. And whoever is shaping the future of work will have to, as a leader particularly, will have to balance these things. Yes. Which will happen automatically because the basic nature of human beings is not going to suddenly change. Sure. So, there will be some distortions, some anomalies, and I can't forecast them. But fundamentally, the idea that work is about collaboration and adding value will continue. Its physical manifestations will keep changing. Sure, sure. And um, so you, you spoke about AI and other trends that are playing out today. Uh, and machines are increasingly taking over human jobs. And it's not new uh, because the industrial age, it has happened in the past, but that was physical jobs. Now we are talking about cognitive automation and AI taking away cognitive uh, jobs. So, um, how do you think about this whole human being machine confluence? Um, do you think uh, human beings should worry about this or should we learn to embrace machines and, and work together? Well, what's your mental model there? My mental model is the however much of these mumbo jumbos you have, the NI, natural intelligence, yeah. will always come and assert its goal. Yeah. And uh, the reason, the, the fact that science fiction guys or movie makers make movies which uh, push it to the uh, limits, it doesn't mean that that's the way the world will be. And I think that so long as human beings are there, there will be NI and NI will assert itself. Mm -hmm. I am not in that sense worried about it. Uh, machines are there, you have no choice because 
the law of unintended consequences comes into operation. Yes. And so when you go one step, something else happens, something else happens. It's not yeah. a linear It's not linear, yes. And uh, so you see a very simple example. Uh, when Ron Chen invented x-rays, he thought he could see the bones. But today in the airport, it can't run, planes can't take off without an x-ray machine. Right. Because of the x-ray machines, only new jobs have come. Yes. In fact, more than is necessary. Right. But the guys can see all sorts of things through the x-ray. Yeah. And that has resulted in other technologies. So it is, uh, it, you can't say I won't embrace x-rays. Yeah. Or that x-rays are bad for my brain, it will cook the microwaves or the x-rays will cook my brain. They, I'm sure at some stage they will find there's too much x-ray. Yeah. And then some characters will happen. Yeah. So I'm a great believer, I think most of us should be believers, I hope. The new technology is an opportunity. Yeah. It is not a panacea. Yeah. And so long as you don't look at the word technology and the future as a panacea, where everybody can sit down indolently mm. and everything will be done by machines. Yeah. I think you're fine. Yeah. Right. Amazing. So, um, what technology trend are you personally tracking with, with all these AI and NI you spoke about? Frankly, I'm yeah. not <laughs> tracking. I, I'm just trying to keep my nose over the water. Okay. Because every day I get assaulted with a few more. I've got a whole library of books, right. which I find a bit tedious to read. So I talk to my son, I talk to my daughter. They help me to do a shorthand or a shortcut. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm not tracking anything personally. Sure. Uh, but I'm very interested in this whole uh, subject in so far as it affects human endeavor. Yeah. And that is what I'm more interested in the application of these and their consequences right. than the technology itself. Yes, and the impact on the human being. Correct. Right. Right. So if you say, uh, what spiritual trends? I mean, a guy at my age is supposed to be spiritual. I'm not particularly spiritual, I'm like anybody else. But I don't sit and read the Vedas and the Upanishads for eight hours a day. Neither do I want to listen to people who do it. But uh, if there's an idea that has come out of it, which appeals to me in my sphere, yeah. I then try to look at that linkage. And yeah. I do exactly the same with technology. Technology right. for me is the Vedanta. Yeah. Somebody is here, uh, interpreting it and writing it. I'm interested in the interpretation and yes. how it affects things that I'm interested in. Right. And I'm, I don't track anything else. Okay. Maybe I should, but I don't. Okay. Oh, 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 oh,